Hi, this is Asin. Today I would like to share how to create a countdown timer on a user form. First, we go to WeShare Basic. After that, we insert a user form. So we insert here. Then for this user form, instead of showing the time left on the user form itself, we can actually show on the caption bar. Then for this user form, we can make like a funnel so that it looks more attractive. However, unfortunately, the things that we have here is too limited. So we can just make use of the text box. So we can actually create two here. Then one is to leave in white. Then for the other one, maybe like the water level will keep decreasing. So we have to make sure the size is exactly the same. Okay, so to look for the size, we can actually go through the properties here. So the thing that we have to take care of is the top 6 and the height 144. Okay, later on we will know why we have to take care for these two values. Okay, so for the back color, we can actually change to the color that we like. So if let's say we want to look like a water lever, we can actually make use of blue color. Then if let's say we want the other color, we just change. Okay, then for this one, the effect should not be this. Okay, the special effects we should change to the right one. Okay, so we will have two different patterns. Okay, then after that we go to Okay, if let's say we don't want to use the text box, the text box, we can actually use the labor labor function also can okay we'll, we'll have the same button okay then what we have to do we just have to go to okay either one shade or maybe we can insert a module okay but then let's say later on we want to create a command button to execute this could then we just make it on the sheet that we want so for example if let's say we want it to be on the sheet one so we choose the sheet one, then what we have to do, okay, so give a title first. So let it be the title, okay, countdown. Or we can actually straight away create a command button, then we place the code in it. Okay, we back to Excel view, go to insert, look for active X controls, then we create a command button. Then we just simply place at anywhere that we desire. Okay, then we do some declaration, click on the properties. So we can actually change the back color to the desired mode. So after that, the form size and the form type. So we can change accordingly. So make it bigger. Then we can make the caption we can change to start so start then we just have to double click okay then whatever code that we want we can actually write it here so since we want a user form one to be shown so we type user user form one dot show okay after that of course we have to first change the user form caption okay to time left okay we have only 10 seconds left okay for this tutorial we will learn for only 10 seconds okay then for i equal to 1 to 10. Of course, we need to wait for a second because it's in terms of second application dot wait. Then now plus, so we have to wait for one second. Okay. 
Okay, then we can have a bit sound to alert. So we have user form one dot caption equal to okay the time left. Okay, we use the same format. Remember to leave a space. So when we present, we will have a space as well. So and because we need to join the variable i, so we have to use emphasis. So ten minus i, then emphasis again. So the seconds. Remember to leave a space. Seconds. Okay, then use form one dot text. Okay, this is text box two. So we want to change the level of the height. So height then is equal to. So as we can see just now, the height of the user form. Okay, for this one, as we can see, the height is one hundred forty four. So we just make use of the number one four four then minus one four four times i over ten. Okay, then remember to close the follow. So next i. Okay, so let's check. Okay, we're back to Excel fail. Okay, change the design mode and click. So we just click. As we can see, the form is shown, but then. The level is not decreasing or it's not dropping, and the verse is not changing as well. So this method, we go back to the Visual Basic. Okay, we can actually stop first. So why is it happen? It's because the show model is true, so the code cannot be executed correctly. So we change to false. Okay, change the show model to false. Okay, now we try one more time. So start. So as we can see, the time is changing, but then the text bar is not changing. So to make sure this will change, what we have to do here is we have to add do event. Okay, do events so that it will will show whatever we want so one more time so we start so 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then stop as we can see it's actually from bottom to top okay this is not what we want so what we have to do here is now we have to make use of the top okay so back to the user form, now we check the top. So as we can see, the top here is 6. So we have to remember this, this value. So now we want to check what is the, okay, the lowest level. So we can actually adjust the size here. So we pull to the lowest possible. Okay, as we can see, is one seven one four seven okay to make sure that it's really at the level that we want we can actually use higher value okay we just undo first so we click back the user form then we press undo control z okay back to the normal size so we can go back then what we have to do we insert another okay good so user form one dot now what we want also the same thing is the text box two okay but now instead of height we use top so it's equal to okay the original height is six so we press six then what to do next is plus okay as we can see just now is 147 so 147 minus six is 141 so to make sure that it's really the level that we want, we can actually change it to higher value. For example, like 143 or 142 maybe. Okay, so maybe like we, we take 142, 
So times also the same. I divided by ten. Okay, now we check what happened. So we click start again. So now it's dropping instead of moving up. Two, one, zero. Okay, all empty already. So if let's say we, after the time is already ended. So if let's say we want to, okay, remove this or, or allude this form, we can actually insert another code. So we can allude the user form. So remember, we have to unload, okay, write the name user form, okay, do not use unload me because me is the command button, so we, command button cannot be unloaded, so we have to unload user form 1, okay, then of course we can prompt a message box saying that the times is up, so times up. Okay, let's check again. So, okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Time's up. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.